Visualization options in Google Analytics 4 are quite limited. But that does not mean that you cannot have beautiful dashboards somewhere else. For example, in Looker Studio, which was previously known as Data Studio. In this tutorial, I will show you the first step, which is how to connect Google Analytics 4 and Looker Studio. To get started, go to datastudio.google.com. Although I would not be surprised if in the future they change the URL to lookerstudio.google.com or something like that. Anyway, once you log into your Looker Studio, then click blank report. And here you will be asked to add some data to your report. Since we want to connect Google Analytics 4, select Google Analytics. In this list right here, you will see your old Google Analytics properties, which are Universal Analytics, and you will see Google Analytics 4. First, select the account and then select the property that you want to access. You can distinguish which property is GE4 by looking right here. Once you select the property, click Add, and then you will need to wait for a couple of moments until that data source is added to your Looker Studio report. By the way, Looker Studio in the past was called Google Data Studio, so there is a possibility that I will accidentally call it Google Data Studio sometimes. Here on the right sidebar, you will see a list of all dimensions and metrics that are currently available in Google Data Studio when it comes to Google Analytics 4. The data is available here because of a thing called connector, which is like a middleman between Google Analytics and Looker Studio. Now, before we continue, I want to point out that the Google Analytics 4 connector in Data Studio is always lagging behind the features and metrics and dimensions in Google Analytics 4. So what does it mean is that sometimes you will find particular metrics or dimensions in Google Analytics 4, but they will not be available right here. For example, right now when I'm recording this video, if I enter landing page, you will not find that dimension even though that dimension is available in native Google Analytics 4 reports. For some missing dimensions or metrics, there might be workarounds, but for others, you will probably need to wait for Google to update the connector. If you have worked with Looker Studio and Universal Analytics in the past, then you will probably miss some features in the Google Analytics 4 connector because the data structure and data model are very different. For example, in Universal Analytics, you were able to also include segments and to apply that segment to a particular widget. Unfortunately, in Google Analytics 4, segments can be applied only in explorations and you cannot use them anywhere else. Now, before I end this video, I wanted to give you several tips and gotchas that you should be aware of when working with Looker Studio and Google Analytics 4 data. So first of all, Google Analytics 4 data model is very flexible and you can send various parameters to Google Analytics 4, but you will be able to use them in Data Studio only if they are registered as custom dimensions. So for example, if I go to Google Analytics, configure, and custom definitions, those custom parameters that are registered right here, they will be available in this list right here. In fact, let me switch to another property. This is the property that I'm currently using in Looker Studio report. So here you can see that I have registered a parameter called affiliate ID, because let's say that sometimes I'm sending this parameter with events. And then when that custom dimension is registered in Google Analytics, it will appear right here. It will not appear in real time. You might need to wait for up to 48 hours because the whole Google Analytics 4 thing right now is quite slow. I'm not sure if they will implement some updates in the future, but usually to see some changes in your data, you will need to wait between 24 and 48 hours. This applies to Looker Studio, Google Analytics 4 connector, and Google Analytics 4 interface as well. If that does not help, then you can click on any chart right here. And then in the data source, click pencil next to the Google Analytics 4 property that is currently used. So click on this pencil and then try to click refresh fields and maybe that will fetch some changes from Google Analytics 4. By the way, earlier in this video, I mentioned that you cannot use Google Analytics 4 segments in Looker Studio. So if you are looking for some workaround, here is a partial workaround. It will not be as good as using segments, unfortunately, but it's still better than nothing. So in Google Analytics 4, you can now create audiences, which are somewhat similar to segments. However, there is one drawback. Audiences are not retroactive. They start accumulating data only after they are created. So 
In this case, you need to create your audiences as soon as you come up with them. I will not be explaining how to create audiences. I have another video for that, so you should check the description of the video. But anyway, once you create them and once you have waited for a while and once they have accumulated some data, you can then use them in filters. For example, here in Looker Studio, I could click on any report that I want to filter, then I can scroll down and add a filter right here. And here I should, let's say, add a name for the filter. So if I want to include, well, obviously right now I don't have much data because this is a test property, but let's say that I want to include engaged users that belong to this audience. So I will name this engaged users. And then I want to include those visitors of which audience name contains and then engaged users and then click save. Obviously right now I don't have data because this is a test property, but if this was a real property, this would have worked. And the last tip of this video is useful for those who usually use the same set of reports in Looker Studio and they just want to check the same data but in different properties. So in that case, you could, I mean, after you built the report, you could add a data control. So click add a control right here and then data control then add an element right here and then make sure that the connector type is Google Analytics but data set type is Google Analytics 4. In the future when Universal Analytics shuts down I think that obviously this will be the only option but once you switch to the data set type Google Analytics 4 then you will be able to choose and switch between different properties and see their data. If you want to learn more about how to work with Google Analytics for data in Google Data Studio, take a look at a more in-depth tutorial on my YouTube channel, and I will post a link to that tutorial below the video. And that is how you can connect Google Analytics 4 with Looker Studio. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.